welcome back to Toy Transformations! Today we're going to show you how to make a family size transformation. We're going to transform two LOL dolls and one little sister into a super cool and cute pumpkin family. I'm sure we're going to have so much fun together. But first, we have a ball to unbox. So come with me. It's unboxing time! So here's our LOL ball from the glitter series. We're going to remove the first layer so we can find the secret message. Here it is. And it says... Glitter bomb! Let's continue. Rip the zipper to find the second collectible sticker. Here's our sticker and it says that our LOL doll can either cry, spit, tinkle or change color. Okay, now let's remove the third layer. Here's our first surprise blind bag. What do you think we'll get inside this one? Let's find out. Okay, let's open it. It's a cute white baby bottle with a black cap. Let's remove the next layer so we can take out the next surprise blind bag. Here it is. I think this one must have our LOL shoes inside. So let's find out what they look like. Let's see. Oh, they're red with a black bow. Let's remove the last layer, guys. Under this one, we'll also find another blind bag. But remember that in order to find it, you must open this compartment that's on the top. We're opening the bag now, and here we have a top and a pair of shorts, all covered in glitter. It's time to open the ball. And look, there are so many surprises inside. So first of all, we're going to open this blind bag that's here. And let's see what we have. Wow, it's a pair of amazing red sunglasses. Now let's take a look at our LOL catalog. Here we have all the dolls from the series. Which ones are you missing? Tell me in the comments below. Now it's time to open the bag with our doll. Are you excited? Me too. Let's find out which one we got. It's Rocker. She has some glitter on her face, but she still looks so good. Here we have the two other dolls that we're going to use for today's transformations. This one's going to be the dad, and we won't be using any of her accessories. And here's the little sister that will be the baby. And we're going to make everything from scratch. And Rocker will be the mom. But we're going to use Center Stage's dress and we'll add a lot of details. So if you want to find out how to do this transformation, come with me. We're going to start with Rocker. So the first thing we'll do is to take a big piece of white air dry clay and put it over the top of her head. We're trying to give her more hair in this part where it's a bit shorter. Good! So now we're going to take a modeling tool like this one and we're going to make the texture of her hair. We want it to look similar to the hair she already had. So we're just going to add some waves like this. Now we're going to start transforming center stage. We're going to take a big chunk of air dry clay again and we're going to put it over her head to make a whole new hairstyle. We're going to try to mold the clay to turn it into something similar to a helmet. Once we have it like this and before the clay dries, we're going to grab our modeling tool again and we're going to add the texture to his hair. You just need to mark some lines like these ones all over his hair. If you don't have a modeling tool, you can always use a needle. And for the baby, we're going to use air dry clay again. So this time, grab a slightly smaller chunk of clay and then put it on her head. Then we're going to make the stem of the pumpkin right on top of her head. So mold it with your fingers like this. Then we're going to make a couple of leaves with some more air dry clay. And we're going to put them next to the stem as you see here. There's the first one. We're going to make a second one as well, but be careful not to ruin the stem. Once we have it like this and before the clay dries, we'll take a modeling tool and we'll mark the details on the leaves. This baby pumpkin is going to look so cute and awesome. Good! And now we're back to the pumpkin dad. We got to make his outfit from scratch, remember? So we're going to cover his whole chest with a big, big chunk of white air dry clay. Try to make the surface even with your fingers. We want his body to look like a ball. And now we have to cover his back as well. So we're going to take some more air dry clay and we're going to cover all of his back perfectly. Try to make the surface as even as you can using your fingers. 
Then we're gonna take a small piece of air dry clay again to make the leaves for the father's outfit. So just a little bit like this will do. And we're gonna mold it with our fingers like this. We gotta make a lot of them. And now we're gonna put all the leaves we made around his neck as if we were trying to make a necklace for him. He's going to look adorable. Hey, did your parents ever dress you up as a pumpkin for Halloween? Now that we've put them all in their place, we're gonna take a modeling tool and add the details to the leaves. So we're gonna mark some lines like these ones on all of them. And now we're gonna make a onesie for the little baby. He's gonna look so adorable. We're gonna cover all of her body, including her arms and legs. So make sure to cover all of her skin perfectly. After that, we're gonna make some leaves again just like we did with her dad. But this time, we gotta make them so much smaller. Just like this. Good. And once we have them, we're gonna place them around her neck. She's looking really awesome, right? She reminds me of my little cousins dressed as pumpkins for Halloween. Now we're gonna make the details of the leaves just like we did with her dad. Let's go back to the mom, okay? Well, now we gotta paint her hair with dark brown acrylic paint. She's gonna look so great as well. Make sure to completely cover all the clay and all the original hair with the paint. Once the paint's dry, we're gonna add some highlights in her hair with this purple glittery nail polish. <laughs> She's gonna look awesome. You can also use a different nail polish, whichever is your favorite color. And we also need to paint the dad's hair. Because right now he's looking a bit more like a grandpa, right? <laughs> so take that brush and the dark brown paint again and start painting. Make sure to cover all the clay perfectly. Once the brown paint is dry, we're going to add some highlights to his hair as well. But this time we'll paint him with clear glittery nail polish. He's going to look fantastic. And then we're going to make his eyebrows. I'm making them with a modeling tool that has a round pointy end. But if you don't have one, you can always use a standard modeling tool. And we're gonna use the same paint we use for his hair. And here's our baby again. We're gonna paint her bangs brown as well. But for her, we're gonna use a lighter shade of brown, like this caramel brown acrylic paint. Now we're gonna change the color of the dad's eyes. We're gonna use the same paint that we used for the baby's bangs. Try to follow the lines as much as possible. Use a modeling tool for this or a needle so it's easier. And with the same technique, we're gonna draw on the mustache. We're gonna paint this part over here, right above the lips. That's right, very good. After that, we're gonna paint the mom's legs with pumpkin orange acrylic paint. We're gonna make her an amazing pair of tights. You might need to apply more than one coat of paint in order for the color to take. Once the paint is dry, we're gonna paint some green stripes on the tights we just made. Make sure to use an extra extra thin brush so the stripes you make are thin as well. Do you know where the tradition of carving pumpkins at Halloween comes from? It's actually from Ireland. We're gonna start decorating the dress for the mom. So as I told you at the beginning, we're gonna use this LOL dress. So we just gotta paint it pumpkin orange as well. So as I was telling you, the Irish used to think that making jack-o'-lanterns at Halloween would scare away evil spirits. Now we're gonna take a small piece of white air dry clay again because we're gonna make the leaves for mom's pumpkin. Remember to make them small. About this size should be fine. Now we're gonna put a little bit of clear glue all around her neck so we can attach the leaves we just made. Remember that they'll look like a necklace. And by the way, the name of the jack-o'-lantern comes from a really interesting legend too. Once we have the necklace, we're gonna paint all the leaves green. So as I was telling you, the legend says that there was a man called Stingy Jack that fooled the devil and made him promise that he'd never take his soul. And now we're gonna paint his details with a lighter shade of green. So when Stingy Jack died, he was forbidden from entering heaven, but the devil wouldn't let him go to hell either, as he was keeping his promise not to take his soul. Then we're gonna use some clear glue, and we're gonna put it all around this part of the dress. 
because we're gonna attach this amazing fabric that I have here. It's orange glitter too. Her dress is gonna look so amazing and original. I'm sure you're gonna love it. Once we've attached the fabric, we're gonna cut it with some scissors to make it the same size as the dress. Remember to be careful while using scissors and if you're having any trouble, ask for the help of a grown-up. I think that the fact that his body is like a little ball makes him look extra adorable. Now make sure not to leave a single white spot. Then we're going to paint the leaves. Remember that the green we use for this will have to be a darker shade of green like pine or basil green because we're going to make the details with a lighter green. Now we're going to make the details of the leaves with lime green acrylic paint. So as I was telling you, it's a much lighter shade of green. Use an extra thin brush to avoid making any mistakes. He's gonna look fantastic, guys. We're gonna go back to our little pumpkin now. She's looking pretty cute, right? We're gonna paint her onesie with pumpkin orange acrylic paint too. Just be careful not to paint the leaves. And the next thing we'll do is to paint her hood orange as well. But same as in the last step, just remember not to paint the leaves. Did you know that the word Halloween actually stands for All Hallows Eve? After that, we're going to paint the leaves with green acrylic paint and a thin brush. We're going to paint the ones around her neck and also the ones on her hood. She's looking better and better each time. And now we're going to apply a coat of glittery purple nail polish on her bangs. Her hair is going to look just like her parents. How are you going to dress up for Halloween, guys? Are you going to go trick-or-treating? Tell me in the comments below. Now that the green paint is dry, we're going to make the details of the leaves with some lime green acrylic paint again. Remember to use an extra thin brush for this step. But if you don't have one, you can also always use a needle. It's time to start with their shoes. So first we're going to grab these very cute pink shoes and we're going to turn them black. You might need to apply more than one coat of paint in order for the color to take. And then we're going to do the same with these yellow shoes. Make sure they're completely black. This is going to be the cutest family ever. They'll look so adorable. Now we're going to take two small pieces of air dry clay to make two leaves. And we're making a bow for the mom. So same as we did before, we're going to turn them into two little balls. And then we're going to flatten them and mold them with our fingers. So they look like this. And once we have them like this, we're going to paint them with the same green acrylic paint we've been using all along. Make sure to use enough paint to cover the clay perfectly. Then set it aside to dry. Once the leaves are dry, we're going to paint the details with lime green acrylic paint. Just like we've been doing with all the other leaves we've made. And to continue with their accessories, we're going to take these LOL glasses and we'll paint them green too. Once the paint is dry, we're going to make some more details with lime green acrylic paint. Just some gentle strokes over here. And there we'll do. And now we gotta attach her bow to her head. So we're gonna put some clear glue here and then just pop the bow on. There you go. After that, we're gonna draw a face on her dress. You know, the classic face that everyone carves on pumpkins at Halloween. Two triangles and a curved line. And for the final touch, we're just gonna apply a coat of clear nail polish to her eyes and that'll be it. And here she is, guys. She looks so cool and adorable. I love the fabric of her dress because it's so sparkly. And I also love her bow and her hair. She's totally awesome. And same as we did with his wife, we're going to paint a pumpkin face on his suit. Remember, you can paint a different kind of face this time. Jack-o'-lanterns are always unique and different. And finally, we just have to apply a thin coat of clear nail polish to his eyes so he looks great. Here we have our pumpkin dad, guys. He's so cool. He looks really good with his pumpkin suit and his green glasses. But my favorite part is definitely his mustache. Good job, guys. The baby's almost ready too, so let's hurry up, guys. We're gonna change the color of her eyebrows to brown with acrylic paint. And now we're gonna draw the face on her onesie with black acrylic paint and a permanent marker. We're gonna make a pair of eyebrows for this one. Very good! So she's ready. Are you ready to see the final result? And last but not least, here's our baby. She looks so cute. 
I really think she's the most adorable of the family. I love that she's so small and my favorite part of her outfit is her hood. So here we have today's transformations, guys. They look so ready to go trick-or-treating together, right? Here we have the dad in his pumpkin suit with his shoes and his amazing glasses. Right in the middle, we have the baby pumpkin. She's wearing a super cute onesie with a necklace made out of leaves and her fantastic hood. And finally, we have the mommy pumpkin with her super cute dress and tights with an even cuter bow. Okay guys, that was all for today. So if you liked this transformation, please tell me in the comments below which one was your favorite. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. We love you so much. Bye.